Hey guys, Hamid Jamali from Liat Studio. Today I have a new tutorial about 3D camera projection. Let's take a look at this example. First of all, I have to show you how 3D camera projection works. Let's take a look at this picture. This is a classic camera projection in cinema theater. We have a solid layer that image appears on it. And we have a lamp that is our light source, which we intend to build using light in After Effects. And there is a frame between light and screen. When light collides the image, the shadow of the image appears on the screen. This is all we want to do now. In this video, we create a 3D image using 2D image with several solid layers. Okay, let's start. Composition, new composition, 9020 by 1018 and set the time duration to 8 seconds. Okay, now drop your image into your comp and then make it to your comp size. Okay, now make a new solid and make it white. Okay, and now rename your solid to ground. In effect and preset, search for grid effects. Drop it on your solid. Make your solid 3D. Press W button on your keyboard. I want to rotate my layer on X axis. Bring it down a little. I reduce its dimension a bit. And I want this layer as a ground. It needs some adjustment. And of course patient. Okay, in order not to increase the tutorial time, I leave this part to yourself. Now, duplicate your layer with Ctrl D and rename it. Bring it up your layer as a floor. Okay, again, duplicate your layer and rename it left. This layer for your left wall. Press V button. And rotate your layer 90 degrees on Y axis. Press V and move it to left side with Z axis. To know if it's uh, done correctly or not, turn off the FX of all layer. Here I create a spotlight. From the top view, I take it back a little.
and go back to active camera I suppose that I need to adjust the left wall more and now I increase the light intensity Okay, now duplicate the layer and rename it right. This layer for right wall. Move the layer to right with Z axis. Okay, now make a new layer and I call it back. Now make it 3D. Press P on your layer and push it back with Z axis. Okay, make it a little bigger. Now go to top view and make sure that layer are at end your screen. Layer, new, camera and choose 50 millimeter camera. It is good. Well, what we have to do now is match the position of the light with the position of the camera. Press P on the camera layer, choose position and Ctrl C to copy the position and press P on the light layer and choose position and Ctrl V. Okay, now camera and light have the same position. Make my image 3D and I put it in the field of view of my camera. I suppose that here is better. Okay, now go to camera one and rescale your image. Actually, fit your image to your screen. To allow light to collide the image and spread the image on the layer you have to do these things first choose all the layers and go to the material option now turn off cast shadow sorry uh, turn off accept light so now the layer doesn't receive the light well, go to the material option of the image and change cast shadows to only and light transmission to 100. So now choose the camera, press C, again press C, again, again, okay now track into your footage. Now you can move your camera in the 3D space. Actually, we created a depth. And of course, you can even orbit with the camera. To finish this tutorial, I'm going to make an animate with the camera. Press P on the camera and turn on the position of the camera. Set the position at first second and go to six seconds new position and set a new position okay. 
Now I choose all keyframes and press F9. So now press 0 on your keyboard to render your composition. Ok guys, this is what we have done. This is simple example to how 3D camera projection works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe me on my YouTube channel and tell me your opinion in the comment field below this tutorial. I'll see you. Bye.